Today, we forge a new path and join the galaxy as allies in victory. Today, we win our future! Aww, I love you, Rex. I'm gonna go talk to Javik real quick, though. This is a Solaria boot camp. Oh. I'm gonna be pressed and ready in five. <clears throat> Was it this bad in your time? Worse. I have been listening to the Krogan speak to his men. In our cycle, the races never came together. There was no rallying cry. I envy you. Really? There's not much left out there. The future is still out there. It is something my people could never say. There will be a tomorrow. Only if we win today. No one else has ever made it this far. You came a long way, Javik. Further than anyone else here. And I look forward to fulfilling my mission. But you are now the avatar of this cycle. The exemplar of victory. Not just for humanity, or Turians, or Protheans, but for all life. Every soul that has ever existed is watching this moment. <laughs> well... No pressure when you put it that way. Do not waver. Victory is never won without difficult choices. I know. I've had to make a lot of those. There may be more. But I know you will see this through for all of us. No matter the cost. If we actually pull this off, what'll you do afterwards? Seeing the past again in the Echo Shard. The faces of my men. I will go to the Cronian Nebula, and I will find their graves. I will put their ghosts to rest. And then, I will join them. You mean... It is as it should be, Commander. The last Prothean voice has spoken. There is no more left to say. Here. This shard is now yours. Add to it. The progeny of this cycle will study it. They will know this was the day when the Reapers were no more, and that you with a conqueror. Alright. You could, like, not kill yourself. You could, like, set up a daycare. Or something. Pro Protein daycare. Bet you'd make a lot of money. <coughs> Shepard, you did it. No matter what else happens today, you did what no one else could. You united a galaxy. That's a victory right there. And don't worry. I know why you're going to win. Because you brought the Krogan. What? Oh, and Makara sends her regards. She's already pregnant. There are benefits to being a clan leader. <laughs> but she keeps insisting we name the first one Morden. Anyway, let's get to it. <laughs> I meant to tell you, Shepard. Earth reminds me of home. Guess you'll be needing a new planet, too. Hey. That's okay. chunk has got room to spare. And a guard dog named Kalros. <laughs> We're ready, Shepard. Say the word. All right. Where's Tally? I'm gonna go see if the Quarians have anything to eat. All that Turian food gave me the runs. Nope. We're gonna have George and Jennifer gone wrong, but if you don't step to it, you're not having any kids. Huh? What about this? We could circle around and flood with reinforcements. Not likely. I spent three days in that sector, trapped inside big fence, stopping it for the move. Name me one place in this city that isn't. I don't know, Admiral. Our Thanix missiles pack a punch, but that's against conventional targets. A Reaper is a whole other matter. We have to make do with what we've got, Major. Get their crews prepped and moving. Yes, sir. Shepard, I have a question. Is it a big or small one? It is important. Its relevance would be diminished at any other time. Ask away. In this battle, the Reapers have no reason not to use their full capabilities to destroy us. Their forces are in entrenched positions. They have superior firepower and outnumber our forces. My question is, what makes you think we can reach the Conduit at all? The Reapers have the Citadel. 
They think they've won, and that's the best time to hit them. If they have spies or other intelligence, we could lose the element of surprise. In such a case, we will likely lose. Are you afraid? Our probability for success is greater than any other plan presented to date. That's not what I asked. Are you afraid? I do not understand the purpose of the question. There's no room for doubt anymore, Edie. You understand what we have to do, or you don't. I am clear on what we must accomplish, Shepard. The Reapers have destroyed thousands of civilizations. But they have never destroyed ours. Nor will they. Ooh. Couldn't have put it better myself. Time to move up. Shepard, there is something I want you to know. The elusive man ordered my creation years ago. Jeff was the one who allowed me to think for myself. But only now do I feel alive. That is your influence. Thanks, Edie. Aha. Uh -huh. And last, but certainly not least. Almost time for the final push. Are you okay? <clears throat> I thought I'd be asking you that question. Shepard, I backed you when I was just a kid on her pilgrimage. I backed you when the Normandy was a Cerberus ship. Wherever you go, I'm with you. And you haven't answered my question. Are you okay? You remember how you felt when you landed on Rannoch? Now imagine it's not a story passed down by your people. Imagine you were there just a few months ago. And now you're seeing it like this. We need to put it right. We will. Do you remember what we said on Rannoch? Just before you took down that Reaper? I do. You said... I love you. And you said... Kila Salai. I want... more time. I know. Whatever happens. I know. Oh. Oh. All right, let's do this. Commander, Admiral, just going over the sit rep. How's it look? Barely 50% of Hammer has reported in. Can we count on more making it? There's some stragglers still en route. But the bulk of Hammer that's still intact has arrived. We're as ready as we're likely to get. Alright. We're good. Let's go. Every minute wasted here, the Reapers gather strength. Exactly my thoughts. Battalion leaders, report to HQ. We fought hard to get here, but now the toughest part of our mission begins. We've got to drive right through the heart of Reaper-controlled territory, break past their defenses, and get to that beam. What kind of defenses? The entire area is crawling with Reaper forces. But our biggest concern is the destroyer, protecting the beam itself. Can we bring in air support to deal with it? Negative. Some kind of interference. We'll have to take it out from the ground. Now they've cut a swath of no man's land through the city. We'll have to cross that first. There'll be some limited shelter on the other side, but expect heavy ground resistance. We need to get our tanks to here, if we get close enough. We've got a shot at taking that thing out. How much of a shot? They know we're coming. This will be a one-way trip for many of us, but there can be no retreat, no stepping back. We move forward at all costs, understood? Who yeah. yeah. Yes, sir. Johnson, Coates, you two will coordinate the artillery units. Shepard, I'm sending you right up the gut where the resistance is heaviest. Support the tanks the best you can, but stay alive. I need you for the final push through the beam. I'll give you a minute with your squad. Pick your team well.
This war has brought us pain and suffering and loss. But it's also brought us together as soldiers, allies, friends. This bond that ties us together is something the Reapers will never understand. It's more powerful than any weapon, stronger than any ship. It can't be taken or destroyed. The next few hours will decide the fate of everyone in the galaxy. Every mother, every son, every unborn child. They're trusting you, depending on you to win them their future. A future free from the threat of the Reapers. But take heart. Look around you. You're not in this fight alone. We face our enemy together, and together we will defeat them. Okay. All right. Garrus and Tali. The ones have been with me since the beginning. Let's do this. There's really no need to change the loadout now. Let me switch my paladin. Shati, get out there. Jack. Chikika. Come on. Ouchie. Let's go. Oh, that's not good. Hang on a second. Let me make sure my difficulty has been turned back up to uh, hardcore. Good, good. Just making sure. I want to get through this. Alright. Grenade!
Eat fire and die. All right. Now, what are we doing? Where are we going? Where are we? Who's the one? Who's the one? Okay. This way. Ah, come on. What the? What did you? What? Right, let's take out that harvester first. Um, no, 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 no. I need cryo up there. Alright. Finish it off. There we go. Get to cover. Holy cow. Ah, whoa, whoa. Okay, then. Banshees are no good. Oh, hey, I'm. That. Right there. Jack, keep them busy. Come on. Come on. Keep doing it. A little more ice. A little more fire. There we go. Oh, crud. Ah! Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh, gee. Mr. T, get out here. Jack. Ice and finish her off. Come on. There we go. We're taking heavy fire from the second story. Assistance. We'll try to clear the building. We will? Okay. Fine. Holy cow. Not if we get shot like that though. Alright. Need ammo, need ammo, need ammo. Yay! Ammo! Alright, so we're clearing the building, right? Well, let's do it. Anything over here? No? No? Okay. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. I love being able to spam this stuff. It's great. <laughs> there you go. Oh, gee. What the? Are there two of them in here? There's freaking two of them in here. Alright, that's one down. Mr. T. Nice. Oh, you missed me. Okay. Cha 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 cha. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's just ammo. 
Alright, we need to find a way out of the garage. I guess that's it. Good lord, they want to make sure you have plenty of ammo, don't they? Damn it. Kale company's being rooted. Holy cow. Uh overload. Sabotage. These guys out first. Holy cow! Ah! All right, that was dumb. Damn it! Kale company's being rooted. Piercing ammo. Alright. Let's take out the Ravager first. Ice. Fire. Nice. Very nice. Ah, missed. Alright. This is working much better. I have to say, there's a noticeable difference between Hardcore and Insanity. This makes a lot more sense now. There we go. Thanks. We're moving again. Anytime. <laughs> Do I need to use the turrets? Guess not. Okay then. What's this? Mom, Dad, I can't reach you guys. I tried the office and your personal comms. No one's answering. And the news was saying that the bombings are getting worse and then the power went off. Look, I know I'm supposed to stay put, but I can't reach anyone. I'm getting really worried about the twins. I'm going to head off to school and pick them up, okay? I'll bring any other of the, of the kids I find too. You can call me when we meet up in the emergency shelters. Aww. Oh, gosh. Wow. Let me use a med. Like this. Okay. There we go. More right. people. Eyes peeled. The buildings will give us some cover, but it gives them a place to hide. Roger that. There we go. Tally. No, no, my Garrus. Missed again. There we go. Ha ha ha. Oh gosh! No music, huh? I just realized there's no music going on. There's P Jack. Garrus, actually, I think you should be using this. Tally, you use this. This is Echo Company. There's not enough room to maneuver the tanks in here. Backtrack if you have to. I'll find another route exit. Acknowledged. Alright. Oh, 
ice. Fire. Come on. Yay! I'm starting to wonder just how much of this game I did on Insanity, because this is remarkably easier than I was expecting it to be. Not saying it's easy, I'm just saying easier than I expected, and that I remember. I, I remember, basically I remember my shields taking a lot less damage than they're taking. Come on, one more. Goodbye. That's not a location, silly. A location's like on the corner of 4th and Main, not- Wow! Oh, hey there. Thank you, Garrus. Okay. Huh? Get your tea. Jack. Oh, the destroyer's not that bad. I've already killed one. Well, really, the, the Quarian fleet killed it, but whatever. Details, details. Ah, go back. You get out there. Jack, are you still out there? Probably not. There you go. Okay. Oh, who are you firing at? Oh, hey there. Look at that. Someone trying to get us from behind. Nice shot, Garrus. Very convenient that people just happen to have thermal clips lying around, well, everywhere. <laughs> 